Former Citadel traders, that's a pretty good pedigree. I guess there's a reason why they were able to raise that much money. Uh, yes, yeah. it's true. It's all about the pedigree mm. these days. Yeah, and you know, I've really seen a whole lot of at least major hedge fund launches here. I mean, besides their background with Citadel, what else did they have to offer investors? Well, they're uh, kind of traditional long short equity managers, which is a little bit odd that they've managed to raise so much money because it's not a strategy that yeah. people really love right now. Mm. But uh, they've managed to do that, and I think it's mostly the pedigree. We have another a launch that's coming out in a few months that's also another Citadel trader, so mm. that definitely helps in raising big money. Citadel helps have that on the resume and talk a little bit more I'm about. I'm going to put it on mine. Tomorrow. I know, it may not be right? true. It'll put be, it on LinkedIn. It's yeah. fine. But talk about how this year overall has been for raising money. It's been difficult on the deal making side, on the IPO side, but when it comes to raising money for hedge funds, how's that going? Well, there have only been four funds that are planning on opening this year with more than a billion dollars. But the amount of money collectively that they're raising is actually more than it was last year. So we're seeing it was very much before the financial crisis. They raised collectively like $20 billion. It's kind of fallen from there, and now it's circling back up again. So that's a positive. Next year, we think there's going to be a fund run uh, by Bobby Jane, who came mm -hmm. out of Millennium, that could be the biggest hedge fund launch ever at more than $8 billion. I mean, we'll see how it pans out, but that looks to be that could be the biggest ever. When you talk about the sort of the potential investors there, I mean, what do they sort of look for here? Is it just about the managers themselves? Is it the strategy? You mentioned long, short, not necessarily in vogue right now. Uh, or are there sort of other sort of factors that they look to when they decide whether they want to pony up some money here? I, it's both pedigree and strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe people think that it's a, going to be a better environment for long short now that we're seeing a little more volatility. There's more chance to make money on the short side, mm -hmm. which hasn't been the case for a decade. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a little bit both.